This came up on who did this? People City Council, Los Angeles said they're making youth football players in Santa Clarita wear the thin blue line flag in their helmets. Yeah, that's cultic. The thin blue line is cultic, no matter how you look at it. Look at this. Look at their helmet. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this because that's probably it's probably copyrighted music. Look at their helmets. Santa Clarita. It focuses on this last look at that. The thin blue line. Every one of these football players is wearing the thin blue line of criminality on their helmets. And that is how brainwashing happens. You see it time and time. You got to have respect for law enforcement. You got to honor the boys in blue. They're out there putting their lives on the line for you. It's not the thin blue line gang of criminality. They don't, I mean, you are more likely, you're nine or 10 times more likely to be killed by a police officer than you ever are being killed by a terrorist on American soil. Let that sink in. Why don't, why don't they have, like at airports, why don't they have, uh, you know, check to make sure that you're going to be safe from law enforcement instead of checking to make sure that you don't have three ounces of shampoo in your bottle? Just turns my stomach on this stuff. Saugus football team. Oh, wait a second. Let's see. There's, there's more. I haven't seen this. Parents at Saugus High in Santa Clarita are having a Blue Lives Matter protest on October 7th after the football team announced that they will no longer carry the thin blue line flag in support of law enforcement out onto the field. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't seen this. Saugus football team to stop carrying the thin blue line flag. Bring your blue line flag to Saugus football game. Wait a second. What am I missing here? Let's see if there's more. Probably make this into a left versus right thing. Saugus football team to stop carrying thin blue line flag. The Saugus football team will no longer carry the thin, the thin blue line flag in support of law enforcement when they stormed the field before games, a decision that prompted heated debate among community members on social media. There you go. There's the divide. There's the divide. And usually the people are who are against the thin blue line are the liberals and the ones that are for it are the Republicans. But then when you say, hey, that thin blue line sign is basically a gang sign like the Crips and the Bloods. You got the red and the blue. Well, this is the thin blue line gang symbol of extortion and tyranny and road piracy and evil and brutality. Well, then the, the, the righties will look at you like you're a lefty when you say that, even though everything you just said is completely true. You can validate it. You can verify it. It's objective. The William S. Hart Union High School District confirmed Wednesday evening that the flag will no longer be displayed and that school officials are working with the team to find another way to express support. We got to find a way to express support for law enforcement. We got to do that. I mean, that's the America that's as American as Chevrolet and apple pie, man. We got to support law enforcement. In a recent Facebook post, local resident Duncan Mandel asked users to insist that the William S. Hart Union High School District immediately stop the use of what he called the Blue Lives flag on campus and at school events. Quote, there's absolutely no reason for this image to be carried out onto the field by players or used on cheer blocks. Get loud. What message are we sending to our kids if we sit back and allow this divisiveness to continue? Do something. This is simply not a First Amendment issue. Actually, it is a First Amendment issue. I mean, but we are talking about a school. And what if they put it up for vote? Do we give it to the 51% and tell the 49% go kick rocks? On a phone call with the signal, Mandela, former Saugus resident who currently lives in Newhall, said he feels people can show their appreciation for law enforcement in many ways, but that thin blue line flag sends another message. It came out as a reaction of that summer where there's a lot of Black Lives Matter protests after George Floyd was killed, he said. So it's a reactionary flag. Wait, the, the thin blue line flag was around before Black Lives Matter, I thought. What's the genesis? What's the origin of the thin blue line flag? I thought that had been with us for a long time, before George Floyd. 
So it's a reactionary flag. It's not something that was just invented as a pure, hey, let's support law enforcement. There are probably a thousand other flags that are exactly like this. I've seen bumper stickers and uh, signs all over the place my entire life that are pure just, hey, we support law enforcement. We support military. We support fire. This is one thing. This is one very specific thing was a reaction to that summer. I don't I don't think that's true. Does anybody know when the thin let's see the origin of the thin blue line flag? The origin of the thin blue line bet flag dates back to an eighteen fifty four battle during the Crimea War in which a British infantry regiment in red uniform stood its ground against the Russian cavalry charge. The British formation became known as the Thin Red Line. It's unclear when that adopted the phrase was first used in police circles. The history behind thin blue line flag. The Blue Lives Matter movement was created in December 2014 after the homicides of NYPD officers Rafael Ramos and Winogen Liu in Brooklyn, New York in the wake of the homicides of Eric Garner and Michael Brown Jr. earlier that year and in the context of the greater Black Lives Matter movement. Huh, maybe they did come around at the same time. They say it's 2014. Wasn't aware of that. I never really looked into the origin of the Thin Blue Line or Black Lives Matter. Both are basically political pushes. One pushes this way, one pushes that way. And what does it do? It divides people. Black Lives Matter movement, like Patrice Cullors, who's one of the founders of the Black Lives Matter movement, said that they are decidedly Marxist. The Thin Blue Line is basically, what would you call that? corporatism with a uniform on it's anti-american it's anti-freedom it's anti-constitution it's anti-third amendment i mean you want to talk about standing armies we have standing armies in police departments especially the militarized police departments i mean gone are the days of andy griffith and barney fife we've got militarized police officers with quote military equipment m wraps and all this kind of stuff rolling through little bitty towns that don't even have 2000 people in them makes me think of uh what was it brookside alabama or something like that they had like two or three m wraps he added that the national football league doesn't even allow the flag at games but they do lo- they do allow military flyovers that it's almost like the NFL is the gateway to the military industrial complex. It glorifies it. The flag, which actually predates the protests over which uh, the George Floyd killing by several years is promoted by among others. Thin blue line USA.com is a show of support for the sacrifices of law enforcement officers making in the interest of public safety. That's what it is. The drug war is for public safety. It's not about increasing the revenues and the coffers of the state, and making the police more beefed up and stronger than the regular citizenry. No, no, it's not about that at all. Mm-hmm.